Well, howdy there. Lil, thank you for joining Storytime with Lillian. I have read this book on Facebook. I think I've done it twice live and then I've done a video. Now it's going to be on YouTube so that you don't have to miss your favorite books and have to go to different places to read it. We're going to read this one together because it's totally one of my favorites to read. This is Pirate Peak and How to Talk Like a Pirate. And, oh, by the way, this book is by Kim Kennedy and illustrated by Doug Kennedy. Just in case you ever want to buy it, it's really fun to read. And if you do, you got to do the voices, okay? <clears throat> Here we go. Pirate Pete. How to talk like a pirate. Pirate Pete had the most amazing ship to ever sail the high seas. But he needed a crew. Not any old crew would do, however. I needs me a pirate crew, Pete told his parrot. And I know just where to find one. Rascal Island. To Rascal Island we go, cried the bird. Pete spun the wheel toward the sea of mischief. And soon his speedy ship had reached Rascal Island. Pete dropped anchor at the bay, and then he sang a, uh, hung a sign across his ship's bow. Buccaneers wanted. Before long, a boat filled with rascals rode up to the ship. Pete rubbed his hands in glee. They were the dirtiest, most mischievous, most sneakiest-looking scallywags and scurry dogs he'd ever laid eyes on. One by one, rascals climbed aboard the ship. Listen up, mates, announced the parrot. If ye wants to sail with Pete, then ye gots to prove ye gots what it takes. Pete nodded and declared, Ye needs a peg leg and an old eye patch and a fierce looking hook and a beard ye can scratch. Ye gots to load a cannon and know how to fire it. But most of all, you gots to talk like a pirate. A rascal stepped forward, loaded the cannon, and fired. Nice firing, said Pete. And I see you got a peg leg and a hook and an eye patch. And that beard of yours, does it hanker for a scratch? It is quite itchy answered the man, especially during the summer when the weather gets tend to be sultry. Blow me down, bellowed Pete. Ye don't talk like a pirate. Walk the plank. As the man splashed overboard, Pete hollered, Ye should have said when the sun's a blazing. Me beard gets the itches worse than a bucket of sand down me britches. Next! ordered the parrot. Pete squinted at the rest of his rascals and said, Ye gots to be stubborn and mighty cranky. Ye gots to be dirty and awfully stinky. Ye gots to load a cannon and know how to fire it, but most of all, ye gots to talk like a pirate. A rascal stepped forward, loaded the cannon, and fired it. Nice firing, said Pete, and I see that you're plenty dirty and stinky, but is ye stubborn and cranky? Oh, indeed, replied the rascal. Sometimes I'm very irritable, especially when I don't eat my breakfast. Shiver me timbers! shouted Pete. Ye don't talk like a pirate. Walk the plank. As the rascal went overboard, Pete cried, Ye should have said, I's as mean as a shark that's stuck in a tub when I've not scarfed me morning grub. Next! squawked the parrot. P 
Pete glared at the rascals and said, Ye gots to love treasure, why it's your duty to plunder ship of shore for gleaming booty. Ye gots to load a cannon and know how to fire it, but most of all, ye gots to talk like a pirate. A rascal stepped forward and loaded the cannon and fired it. Nice firing, said Pete, and judging by the gold and rubies you're flaunting, I reckon you've done some plundering in your day. That is correct, said the rascal. I've misappropriated a number of fine jewels hmm, without permission. Blimey, cried Pete. Ye don't talk like a pirate. Walk the plank. As the rascal leaped overboard, Pete shouted, Ye should have said I pilfered loot and land at sea, and no man says so has ever stopped me. Next! Blared the, pie, the parrot. Pete shook his head, and he finally lost his patience. He curled his lip at the last rascal and declared, Ye gots to trim the sails and mind the deck. Ye gots to be brave in case of a shipwreck. Ye gots to load a cannon and know how to fire it. But most of all, ye gots to talk like a pirate. The rascal walked forward, loaded the cannon, and fired it. Nice firing, said Pete. But is ye brave? Cause no lily-levered seafarer is going to sail with me. I can assure you that I am extremely courageous, said the rascal. I will conduct myself with valor at all times. Confound it, shouted Pete, stomping his foot. Ye don't talk like a pirate. Walk the plank. As the rascal dropped overboard, Pete yelled, Ye should have said I've not a yellow-bellied bone from me head from me toes. I'll stand brave upon this ship wherever she goes. Can you believe it? Pete moaned to his parrot. Out of all of them rascals, not one was fit for me crew. Tis true, squawked the bird. By the powers, they're no more than a bunch of old squiffies and sprogs. None of them fit to go squash buggling and plundering for pieces of eight upon briny blue on this here vessel. Pete blinked. Why, ye talk just like a pirate, he cheered to the bird. You're all the crew I needs. Way anchor! said the parrot, and off they sailed, back to the high seas when Pete and his bird, a pirate always gets the last word. They looked for a crew so they couldn't hire it, but blimey, none could talk like a pirate. And that's it. And that is Pirate Pete's Talk Like a Pirate. Thank you guys so much for uh, story time with Lillian. Until next time, bye.